Now, I normally don't try to make videos about news like this a day after the news actually happens, because the Vancouver Canucks yesterday, they ended up adding a few people to their human development, or is that what it's called? Human development part of the team? Okay, there's a few Canucks staff members that were added onto the squad that are cool. Definitely nice to see the Canucks adding people and making sure that they're you know, assessment of personnel behind the benches and in the rafters are all diversified. Human performance staff, that's what it's called. They added a few of those guys, and they also added themselves a new Abbotsford goaltending and development coach that I wanted to talk about in this video as well. Even though this stuff is normally things that we talk about on the spot, I really had to let this goaltending thing sit in a little bit before I made a video about it because I was like, yeah, I mean... Okay, I can make a video about the human performance hirings, but then again, I don't really find too much conversation fodder from the idea of the Canucks hiring human performance people and chiropractors. But when it comes to their new goaltending coach in Abbotsford, Marco Torinius, I think there's a lot more than meets the eye right here, and this is a very interesting hire that might actually have some good benefits for the Vancouver Canucks heading into the next few years. So firstly, let's go over onto the Vancouver Canucks website itself and go over the press release of the hiring of Marco Terinius. Vancouver Canucks GM Patrick Alvine and Abbotsford Canucks GM Ryan Johnson announced today, yesterday, that the organization has named Marco Torinius as goaltending development coach and goalie coach of the Abbey Canucks. We are very happy with the staff that has been assembled for the upcoming season, said Alvin. Ian Clark and Marco Torinius will be a great tandem in strengthening and developing our goaltending pool. Marco brings a wealth of experience to our group, said Johnson. He has worked with and developed some of the best goalies in the world, and we are ecstatic that he is bringing his talents to the Canucks organization. Torinius most recently served as the goaltending coach for SKA St. Petersburg in the KHL from 2014 to 2022. Prior to joining SKA, he spent parts of two seasons as goalie coach in the KHL's, okay, be patient with me here, Sibir, Novosibirsk, and seven seasons as team manager and goalie coach of the Espoo Blues in the SM Liga. Now, that's a pretty bare scouting report. Like, okay, it goes over his history, it talks about the quotes from Malvin and Ryan Johnson and everything, that's cool, but if you really go down to the nitty-gritty and you acknowledge, okay, this guy was in the KHL for Novosibirsk and SKA St. Petersburg, and he was a part of the Espoo Blues in the SM Liga, you kind of start to recognize who Terenius has under his belt when it comes to talents that he has developed. Now, the big one that you'll notice, hey, SKA St. Petersburg, he was there from 2014 to 2022. Who is the goalie that was a part of SKA St. Petersburg in its heyday in the late 2010s? It's none other than New York Rangers guy Igor Shashirkin, who was developed and primed in this system and was the subject of Terenius training, and a guy that was pretty much molded into the goaltender that he is today because of all the experience Terenius gave him in the KHL. Not only that, but you also have another player that spent time under Terenius with the Espoo Blues and SKA St. Petersburg too, Miko Koskinen. Now, Koskinen, I get it, it's Koskinen. He's not really the guy with the best track record nor reputation, and it's not really all too great hearing his name being placed alongside of this, but you gotta remember, Miko Koskinen in Finland and Russia was really good, and it's why he even got an NHL contract with the Oilers in the first place. So, at the end of the day, Terenius did develop some great talent. He also was the Team Finland goaltending coach, or director of goaltending, excuse me, for the international squad in 2021. And now he's heading over here to Abbotsford. Now, what I wanted to do was go over onto David Quidrelli's article from yesterday on CanucksArmy.com. He does a really good job at just highlighting why this is a pretty good thing for Vancouver. Obviously, of course, because Igor Shashirkin is Igor Shashirkin. But from the pathways that you can see, the Vancouver Canucks and Abbotsford Canucks taking with Terenius, it's kind of projecting a nice little path for the other players that are in this organization already and what Terenius can do for them. This is what Kudrelli writes. The job for Abbotsford goaltending coach was vacated when Curtis Sanford left to take a well-deserved NHL coaching job with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Torinius, a native of Helsinki, Finland, has spent the last six seasons in SKA St. Petersburg. He's credited, along with Rashid Davidov, as one of the two goaltending coaches to develop Rangers star goaltender Igor Shashurkin during Shashurkin's five years with SKA. 
Tyrrhenius also has an exceptional understanding of modern-day goaltending and movement, as outlined in this interview he did with In Goal Radio, and he should be a great fit in Abbotsford. Based on Tyrrhenius's philosophical approach and what we know about him, this appears to be a hire that Canucks director of goaltending Ian Clark certainly approves of. The reason he's saying this is because not that long ago, Ian Clark arranged for Vancouver Canucks Finnish prospect Aku Koskinvuo to skate with Tyrrhenius in Finland. Now, if you go over here, I mean, Aku Koskinvuo is a guy that I don't really think has any guaranteed NHL potential, but he's a guy drafted by Vancouver back in the 2021 NHL draft, fifth round guy, 137th overall, who actually was skating around with Tyrrhenius earlier in his tenure. Now, he didn't have the best season this year with the HIF KZU 20 team. It was under 900 as a save percentage, and he's actually going to Harvard next season, which is going to be interesting to watch. But there already are some ties with Tyrrhenius to other Vancouver Canucks goaltending prospects that were already in the system. Now, Quadrelli is writing here that Tyrrhenius will likely be tasked with further developing 21-year-old Latvian netminder Artur Silovs, whose natural abilities and skill have set many in the Canucks organization believing he can be a star one day. So, this seems to be the plan here. You know, you talk about the goaltending development that Vancouver has had over the past, oh boy, two decades? No, decade and a half, let's say. From Roberto Luongo to Corey Schneider to the short-lived, fantastic stint of Eddie Lack, and you had Jacob Markstrom thrown in there, Thatcher Demko. Vancouver has had some good goaltenders, and even now, you talk about how good Demko is, you talk about how good Spencer Martin is. Sure, he didn't have the best sample size in the NHL, but... When he was here, he was doing an amazing job, and you have yourselves a young guy in Artur Silovs who, as a 21-year-old goaltender from Latvia, actually has some pretty interesting potential. Now, I don't think anybody is going to go out there and say that they always believed in Silovs to be this potential NHL star, especially since he was drafted in 2019 in the sixth round, but over the years, we have seen Silovs play pro hockey in Latvia. He played in the OHL. He wasn't amazing there, but he was okay. He then played in the ECHL. He also was a part of Team Latvia at the World Championships, and he was really good over there. Silovs is a very interesting player, and a lot of people who are goaltending nerds will go out there and talk about the fundamentals of this guy, the skills, the athleticism, etc., etc. And so now you have the guy who pretty much primed and poised Igor Shashurkin teaching Silovs how to be a goaltender as well. So, yeah, I like that idea. I like it a lot. In fact, I like the idea of Ian Clark being in Vancouver for the next four years or however long the contract is that he signed. Working with Demko, working with Martin, making sure these guys are able to stay on top of their game. And then you have this new dude, Torinius, in the AHL, working not just with Silovs, but also with Colin Dillia, because you have him on the system as well. You have new goaltenders, you gotta remember that. Most likely, you're not gonna see any Michael DiPietro anymore, he's going to get traded eventually, we'll just see where eventually that goes. But, talk in the comments either way all your thoughts about the newest Vancouver Canucks goaltending hiree. A guy who's helped out some pretty good goaltenders in the past few years, from Mika Koskinen to Igor Shashurkin. I mean, if you're going out there training one of the best goaltenders that we have seen in the NHL, like in a very long time, and Igor himself. I definitely do like that resume a lot, but I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.